Hello, it's me again, Adam Yopst. Uh, today I'm going to be wrapping up the interview that I started last week with Bob Sesson of Inspections by Bob. Uh, in this show, Bob's going to go into a little bit more detail on inspecting distressed properties, those short sales and bank-owned properties that we're seeing out there, uh, as well as radon tests and what radon is um, for those of you who aren't familiar with radon. So hopefully you'll find the show informative and helpful. Uh, you're welcome to contact us with any information that you have or any questions. Enjoy the show. Now, I, I've gone through several inspections, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, I've noticed a lot more uh, properties that uh, my, my buyers are finding more attractive due to the lower price points uh, are distressed properties. Those include your bank-owned properties and the short sale properties. Um, do you have uh, a different approach to your home inspections on these distressed properties? Can you talk a little bit more about uh, your inspections on, on those types of properties? The inspection, what we look at is almost always the same, which is everything. Uh, we're finding that properties that have been winterized, whether due to foreclosure or short sales, are having more issues uh, because winterizing the house is probably the worst thing you can do to a house. Um, my favorite example is a house where the power has been turned off and it had an active sump pump. Uh, we've now removed the ability of the house to, to empty water from the basement, and we go in, the power and, and the electricity and the, everything's been turned back on, but we go in the basement and it's damp and dank. Because basically the water, you know, had been left to collect wherever it wanted to for many months. The house also froze. The house also baked because the power in the furnace was off. Winterizing a house is probably the worst thing you can do to a house uh, because it, it gets wet, it freezes, it bakes, uh, and that's, that's not nice to the house. Uh, a short sale where somebody's still living in the house is probably the best because the people are going to do what they need to do to live comfortably in the house, maybe with some deferred maintenance, but at least they and the house are still working together. Uh, empty houses that have been turned off or neglected are, are kind of rough. We Got still it. look at the same things, um, but again, as we go into the house, you know, our, our senses tell us, where the issues are going to be. Right. And on a similar note, and on a little aside, uh, just to my uh, uh, prospective clients, my future clients out there, I, I we have run into problems on, on some of these problems, or some of these property types, getting the utilities turned on. And uh, having Bob mention the winter, winterizing properties has got me thinking along the lines. Uh, it's important that those utilities are, in fact, turned on for those home inspections so that uh, home inspectors like Bob can do a thorough investigation of the property and you can identify problems before you turn those uh, utilities on later. So just a little aside. And to, to further on that, we're trying to remove surprises. And I have had clients insist on doing inspections where the water's not on. And unfortunately, they were surprised when the water was turned back on after closing with numerous leaks. So again, Make sure all the utilities are on so we can do a thorough inspection of all the systems. Yep, and I couldn't agree with you more. Now, uh, what's uh, radon? I've, I've, um, I've certainly have uh, uh, an explanation of radon, but I'd like to hear from, uh, from you as a home inspector. You could describe briefly what radon is and, and what a radon inspection would include. Radon is an odorless, colorless gas that is formed when various radioactive materials that naturally occur in the ground decay. Um, it is slightly heavier than air, but it tends to pool in basements um, because it's trying to dissipate and the basement gets in the way. Uh, so it collects in the house. Air conditioners and other things then spread it throughout the house. The concern is because it's a radioactive gas, if the concentrations in the house are high enough, it's the equivalent of getting an extra dozen chest x-rays. Uh, according to some sources, it's the second leading cause of lung cancer after cigarettes. 
what most of us will do either directly uh, or working with a radon company, as I do, is I will place a monitoring device typically in the basement uh, that will take samples or collect over a period of time, typically 48 hours. Uh, the radon company or the inspector will come back, uh, collect those samplers, and give you a number that represents how much radon is in the house. Uh, the EPA has set a number of four, which is micro-picocuries micro per something per day. Anything less than four is considered safe. Uh, anything more than four requires remediation um, to remove the source of the radon or redirect the radon so it doesn't go into the house. Okay. Well, thank you for that explanation. I have a better idea myself now of what radon is. Um, we are running close to our limit of time here, Bob, so I'm going to jump to my last question that I have for you today. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with uh, potential home purchasers out there that you feel would be beneficial for them to know before uh, purchasing a property and, and then doing a home inspection in particular? The big thing is a lot of people think that a, a, a home inspection is a option. It really isn't. Uh, a home is your biggest investment probably in your lifetime. And if you were to buy a used car or even a new car, you're going to have it inspected by someone. It's very important that whether it's a new home, an old home, or even a home you're buying from a realtor or from a relative, that you have an independent third party go through the house and tell you about the house, tell you the things that need repair, and teach you about the house. It's really not an option. All right, and with that, we've concluded today's show. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, you're welcome to call either of us, Bob Sesson or myself, Adam Yopes, with any comments or questions. Until next time, have a great day.